Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to our house. Hey, I'm Julian. I'm the producer of The Block. We're in our front garden, which was designed and made by someone who anybody who watches The Block will be familiar with, Dave Franklin. This is a beautiful garden that he created for us with our little plunge pool over here. We love it. The only thing we haven't changed with this house is the facade and this ivy because we absolutely love the look of it. It's so charming. Come on inside. The first thing you see when you walk in the front door is a pop of pop art and pop eye. Christmas presents from Julian when I was pregnant with our first son, Max. As you come through our house, you'll see there's a lot of art. I'm very lucky to be the son of two great artists, Fred Cress and Andrew Dell. We've got a lot of their work, but we've collected a lot of work ourselves over the years, and there aren't many walls in our house that don't have a piece of art on them. This wall hang that we've got over here was actually designed for us by Darren Palmer, the block judge. A brilliant way of hiding a television is to surround it by art, photos, etc. So we're really happy with the way this looks. Some of these artists are found by Sarah, who also runs the block shop. Here's something that's very special to me. Um, so my father uh, passed away 12 years ago, um, but he was a wonderful man, uh, Archibald Prize winner in fact. Um, these were his paintbrushes from his studio, so um, obviously we're never going to let them go. This is my spot, my piano. Ten years ago, I think, I went to the Affordable Art Fair in uh, Carlton Gardens and found this guy called Wild Thing by a, an artist called Troy Emery. And I've gotten a little bit addicted to his artwork. Recent acquisition by Sarah and real centrepiece of the house now. Uh, this is a, a new piece by Troy and I think it's just wonderful. So we gutted this house completely and started again and in the process of removing things we actually found some extraordinary stuff. These beautiful rusty old steel beams that were actually made in Sheffield in England in the mid 1800s and we exposed them when we were gutting the house and thought they need to be on display. We love to cook so we made a pretty big kitchen for ourselves. The bench isn't really an island, it's a continent. As, <laughs> As Neil Neil would say. It's the social hub of our house. And the best thing about it is that the adults stay up here and underneath is a cubby house for the kids. We went for that matte black look in the shaker style. We just think it has a nice sort of classic timeless appeal. So the whole idea of adding this level on the house was to access pretty much a panoramic view of the city skyline. It really connects us to the heart of Melbourne. The concept was to make the whole centre of this floor into one long piece of joinery, create these beautiful arches that take you into each space. The best bit, come and have a look. This is the bathroom that we've always wanted. On this series of the block, Mitch and Mark put in a steam shower. We've added the same equipment to make this double shower area also function as a steam room. Serene, we're going to sleep like babies in this zen space. You know, Matt Martino's concept around all of this was to create a feeling of a day spa. We, we feel really fortunate we've got this incredible master suite now that's, you know, really private up here and I'm super happy with it. Yeah, me too. And um, complete with the cutest little vase that he actually gave us in 2006 when we got married. What started life as a bakery, believe it or not, um, back in the 1890s is now our house. It's been a lot of hard work to get here, but we love it. Thanks for having us.